Hi, it's Daniel Weisberg here at BathursonLawrence.com, and I've got a good friend of mine, Moshe Simon here. He's a mortgage broker. I've known him for a lot of years. He's done a lot of good transactions for me, very trustworthy and always very timely. Now, we've got a... a Moshe's going to... Okay, Moshe, a lot of people come to me. They currently have an existing house, and the million dollar question, or in Toronto it would be $525,000 question because that is the average home price is should I go and buy a house and then sell my current house or should I sell my current house and buy my new house? Now the emotional side is that yeah it's much easier to go and buy a new house because you get exactly what you want and then you can sell your old house but the stressful side is you're going to go buy a new house you have no idea if you're going to qualify for it and what you could get for your current house. So what do you suggest to people? Well, that's a good question, Daniel, that comes up very often. The first thing I suggest is to sit down with a qualified mortgage broker like myself or another qualified broker and really determine if you can qualify to buy your new house with keeping your existing home or the only way you can qualify for the new home that you're going to buy is to sell your existing home. And once we can determine that factor, then, then, you, then you can decide whether you should go buy the house first and then sell your home or, or vice versa. Um, but in most situations, Daniel, most people do need to sell their home prior to them purchasing the next home. So it doesn't mean they have to actually sell it. But they have to sell it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They need to know that one of the conditions to get the mortgage when they close the new home is that they're going to need to show the bank a contract that they've sold their existing home. And if they can't show the bank that contract, they might have, they might have difficulty getting the mortgage on the new home. So Is that in the pre-approval process? That, or is that is in the approval. That, that would be in the mortgage commitment. Now, there are uh -huh. situations where a person could carry both homes. I mean, I'm not saying that's not. And obviously, then the person has much, a lot more leeway. But when he cannot carry both homes then um, they just have to realize that there is a time when they buy this home and they have a three-month closing date, they have to know that they must have a firm sale within three months. Uh -huh. If they don't have a firm sale within three months, they're going to be in trouble. Um, but again, even before they go and put that initial offer, it's worth it to sit down with a person like myself and I would be, or someone else, and they could, we would be able to tell them, tell that person, whether you can qualify for a mortgage, whether you sell your house or not. So basically, like all good questions, there's never one right answer. What it really comes down to is your personal financial situation, maybe other assets that you possibly have, and of course the real estate market that you're in. So what we always suggest is to be an informed consumer, get professionals that you trust on your team, sit down, interview them, tell them your story, and then make an informed decision from there. 100%. Another thing to just keep in mind is like when you, when you go to a broker to get a pre-approval, you want to make sure that you got a pre-approval that the bank actually looked at, an underwriter looked at, and they made a decision to pre-approve you. Because many times, the way pre-approvals are sent out by some of the lenders is that they're literally just a rate hold. They didn't really look at your deal and look at your all your details. When I send deals out there, certain lenders I deal with that I only like sending pre-approvals to them simply because I know that when I send them that application, Two set of eyes looked at the deal and a manager, and they, when they sent me that pre-approval, that is a real, real bulletproof pre-approval. And with the condition that's saying the pre-approval, that's the ones that they're going to ask for when the deal firms up. Super. Okay, so thanks a lot, and enjoy real estate.